Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Vince Rock, back to another episode of the New York Giants franchise. It has been two months since I've said that. Oh, boy, it feels weird to be back, I can tell you that much. Last episode, as I edited it uh, yesterday, um, we got destroyed. Uh, Daniel Jones looked like shit. Tyler Huntley looked like shit, and so did Andrew Harold. In fact, I have I don't remember how this, this franchise was going. I'm going to take a look at Daniel Jones' stats, and wow, they are atrocious. 13 touchdowns and 10 interceptions, 1,340 yards. I mean, yikes. Saquon, 61 attempts for 358 yards, averaging 5.9 yards per carry, and has 5 touchdowns. I think this is week 4. This is week 5. But we're going up against the division rival Dallas Cowboys. Now, tomorrow in real life is the Dallas Cowboys Thanksgiving game for the Giants. I honestly see it as a loss. And then Odell Beckham Jr. becomes a Dallas Cowboy. But you never know what could happen as I thought that the Giants were going to beat the Lions. So, see what happens. Game plan, elite quarterback. With Dak Prescott being able to make plays with both his arms and his legs, it must be tough to devise a game plan to stop him. What's the biggest factor in slowing him down? Limit the passing. He doesn't scramble that much. He's a quarterback, so the first focus always is to be passing game. That's where blah, 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 blah. Yep. I don't think I have much else to say other than this is the last season of New York Giants franchise. So I'm going to try to make it count, but with the stats I'm putting up, it doesn't seem good at all. All right, we're going to pretend like I didn't just accidentally hit play offense only. We're going to play the full game out. All right, starting off with a blitz. Dax is going to throw it, and it is completion on the first play back. That's Donald Parham Jr. There's now a Dallas Cowboy in this, as we are in year two. Dak looks to throw. He's going to be sacked by Dexter Lawrence and Aziz Ojolari. Second and 17 now. Dak looking to throw. He's going to have a completion of Donald Parham yet again for a gain of three, setting up third and 13. Now it's getting loud. Can you guys still hear me? I sure hope so. Last episode was very hard to hear me, and I didn't realize till after. Dak is going to step up. And Dak Prescott is going to scramble and slide down before the first down line. And it is fourth and four. Gain of nine. And Brian Anger comes on to punt the football for the Dallas Cowboys. All right. Out trots Danny Dimes, who got benched last game, which actually... Created some sort of tension between the Giants and him. I don't know what happened. I don't know if he thinks that he's all that or something, but we're gonna have a completion of Saquon Barkley, and Saquon Barkley has a first down. Gain of 12 on the first play. Micah Parsons getting pressure in Daniel Jones' face, but he manages to stay calm and get a completion for a first down. First attempt for the 32, we're gonna hand it. Oh no, it's a read option. Daniel Jones scrambles forward for a game of nothing. Second down and 10. Daniel Jones to throw the ball. No one's open. I'm going to force that in. I'm going to get picked off. Leighton Vander with the interception. And Daniel Jones has his 11th of the season. First and 10 now. Dak throwing to CD Lamb. Has a completion. Tremaine Edmonds manages to stop him. It is a gain of 10, which sets up second and inches. We're going to press up and blitz. Put some pressure on Dak. Zeke gets the football, though. And Ezekiel Elliott gets down to the seven-yard line. Gain of five. And the Cowboys are knocking on to a touchdown here. Dak. End zone. Interception. It's Devin Bush, the free agent signing. Devin Bush out of the end zone is going to go all the way to for a touchdown. Devin Bush pick six. Dak Prescott couldn't keep up with him. And Devin Bush has a pick six. Took it out of the end zone and goes all the way back to our end zone. Cowboys were marching on offense before turning the ball over after my turnover. First and 10 now from the 25. They're going to hand it off to Ezekiel Elliott. Devin Bush gets spun around and then dove the wrong way. And Zeke gets a gain of five. Last week, Zeke had 20 rushes for 115 yards and a touchdown. On the season, similar stats to Saquon, I believe. We have full momentum after that pick six. Let's hope that Dak makes another mistake. As he looks to throw, no one is open, and he throws it away. 
Third down and five from the 30. Dallas offense looks to get something going. It is a screen. Dak throwing the screen. Almost intercepted. And it is a loss for this Dallas offense. Fourth and 12, and they will punt. Zeke has negative seven receiving yards because I read the screen. Anger out to punt. Adore Jackson, who just got injured in real life on a punt return, is there to return the punt. And we go nowhere. Losing yardage. Okay, so last time we were out here on offense, the uh, we threw a pick, right? So it was not not good. We're gonna rely on Saquon a bit more here on this drive as Saquon rushes forward, gain of three for his first rush. Maybe we're gonna fake him out here. Is this play action? Oh, it's not. I thought it was. Uh, we're gonna find Wandale Robinson who got injured. He's going to have an incompletion, but Daniel Jones was roughed. First down and 10 for the 46 after a roughing the passer call. Jones to throw. DJ Chark as a first down. Now, there is one thing I will say, and that is I might have had too many free agent signings. Too many big free agent signings, like DJ Chark, for example. Tremaine Edmonds. Uh, Quinn Nelson. Devin Bush, I had way too many free agent signings. Next franchise after this season won't be like that. I'll try to make it as realistic as possible as Daniel Jones completely misses Saquon Barkley. It was wide open for a touchdown. I'm, I'm thinking of making some big moves at the uh, trade deadline, though. As Saquon fights forward, gain of four. Third and six from the eight-yard line. Kadarius Tony, who got traded in real life, is on the field. Jones to throw. Dawson Knox is another one, and he has a touchdown. You know, I'm, list I'm listing all the free agent signings, and I forgot about Dawson Knox. All right, Dallas offense back out onto the field now. They haven't been able to do much. They got great field position with my turnover, and then Dax is going to toss it up, and Darnay Holmes has an interception. He was trying to throw it to Michael Gallup, and he just completely missed him, and Darnay Holmes has the pick. First down and 10 for the 49. It's going to be a handoff to Saquon Barkley. And Saquon gets a gain of one. Second and nine from midfield now. I'm going to throw that to DJ Chark, who makes an incredible catch. And DJ Chark muscles off Anthony Barr and has himself a first down. Oh, my God. Throw out a sack throw for Daniel Jones there. DJ Chark finds the football, makes an insane grab, and gives us a first down. I'm going to throw that to Kadarius Tony. And Tony gets a gain of three. Quick throw. Second down at seven from the 31-yard line. Hand off to Saquon Barkley. And Saquon has a first down. First time he really got free today. Gets all the way down to the 21. First down at 10 from the 21-yard line. We're going to call a play before the end of the quarter. Try to score some more points. Make it look like a blowout. Went right to Leighton Vanderesh. He could have had his second interception of the game. But instead he swats it away. And that is the end of the first quarter. Really good first quarter from this New York Giants team, apart from that one interception by Daniel Jones, which is my fault. Other than that, we look pretty good. That would have been another interception to Leighton Van Der Esch. I hit the wrong fucking button. Third down and 10 for the 21 now. We'll probably have to settle for a field goal unless Wandale Robinson is wide open. And Leighton Van Der Esch makes a great defensive play. He has been all over the field for this defense. Been the only highlight of this Cowboys team so far. Is we're going to kick it with Graham Gano. Kick is up and good. 17-0 for this New York Giants team. Coming off a blowout loss against the division rival Philadelphia Eagles. We've scored 10 points off of Dak's turnovers today. They're probably going to run it with Zeke if I had to guess. It is going to be a handoff to Ezekiel Elliott. And Elliott breaks a tackle. It falls forward down at the 38. Gain of 15 on that play. Dallas trying to get things going here as they are down 17. Early here in the second quarter. Dax looking to throw. Wide open CD Lamb. Julian Love comes over to try to make a tackle. CD Lamb breaks it. Also breaks Xavier McKinney's tackle. And then is forced out of bounds by Adoree Jackson at the 38 yard line. 24 yard gain on the play. And is now first and 10 for the 38. Dak looking to throw. 
Gallup might have been open for a second there. Dak has all day to freaking throw. Someone make a tackle. Thank you, Dexter Lawrence. Sexy Dexy with the sack. Second down and 13 now as Dak looks to throw. Misses the wide open CD Lamb. Is now third and 13. It's really loud here at MetLife Stadium. Dak. Throwing. CD Lamb open. I missed the tackle and CD Lamb was all the way down to the nine yard line. Oh God. What a, what a terrible defensive play by me, man. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. First down and goal from the nine. Cowboys looking to score their first points of the game as Dak forces a football in there. Almost intercepted. It was a broken up play. And this is now second and goal from the nine. It's going to be a handoff to Ezekiel Elliott, but Leonard Williams right it all the way. It is a loss of one on the play. Third down and goal from the 10 yard line. Prescott looks to throw. Going end zone. And C.D. Lamb has a touchdown. Oh, my. F oh, God, dude. I switched on to Darnay Holmes to make a play on the football. And instead, he decides to not jump for the ball. Stay on the ground. And C.D. Lamb mosses him. First down and 10 at the 16. Handoff to Saquon. Quentin Nelson sets up a great block on Leighton Van Der Esch, And it is a gain of five. Second down and five for the 21 now. Jones to throw it. Kadarius Tony's wide open. What a throw by Daniel Jones to fit it to Kadarius Tony, who fakes an injury on the Giants to play on the Chiefs. And then actually gets injured on the Chiefs. Second. Uh, first down and 10 for the 38. Jones. Throwing that to DJ Chark who has a first down. RPO. Jones to DJ Chark yet again. Chark gain of five. Second and five at the 46. Play action. Jones is going to be sacked. The rookie linebacker Antoine Dockery with the sack there. This is up third and 13. And we're just going to have to run it up the middle with Saquon who fights forward. Down to the 47. Fourth and six. We're just going to punt. I'm okay with that. Our defense has been playing pretty well. Uh, would I have liked a first down there? Maybe. But I elected to run it instead. It's going to be a punt. It's going to be a good punt, I hope. Great bounce! No! It rolled into the end zone! We couldn't get there fast enough. The Cowboys take over at their own 20-yard line. First down and 10. Cowboys offense managed to get a touchdown last time they were out. Let's see what our defense could do this time, though. As Dak throwing at a Dory Jackson. How did you not pick that off? Or swat the ball down and break it up or something. Completion of Michael Gallup for 13 yards. First down attempt for the 33. Dak looks to throw. Quick completion of Donald Parham. And Parham gets all the way down to the 48. First down attempt for the 48. Trey Evans on the blitz. Zeke muscles me off. Oh my god. Devin Bush should retire after that one. Zeke only managed to get a yard out of that. But Devin Bush just got absolutely destroyed. Second down and nine. We're sending a blitz before the two minute warning. Dak. Throwing over the middle of the field. Interception by Adoree Jackson. He can't pick off the other one. But he picks off that one. Trying to fit the ball into Michael Gallup yet again. And Adoree Jackson finally makes a play on the football. And sets up first and ten. Jones throwing. Completion to Sterling Shepard. As Shepard tours ACL in real life as a first down. That's how we got to catch this Dallas defense off guard. We're just throwing all these quick passes. They have no idea what the hell to do. First and 10 from midfield. Jones to Barkley. Barkley trying to muscle off Trayvon Diggs. It's a gain of absolutely nothing. Second down and 10. Jones to throw. Over the middle of the field to Dawson Knox. And Dawson Knox turns it upfield all the way down to the 22-yard line. What is happening? Why is this offense marching, dude? First down and 10 for the 22. A minute and four seconds left. Throwing that outside to Dawson Knox. And Knox. It's out to five. I thought he was going to have a touchdown there for a second. First and goal from the five. Jones. Steps up. And it's going to take a sack. That was my fault. 
Second to go from the seven. Jones to throw. Looking end zone. Almost intercepted. Third down and going for the seven now. Jones. Throwing that to Kadarius. Tony fumbles the football. Saquon picks it up. And then Dallas calls a timeout. Sprint to settle for a field goal here. As Daniel Jones looking like himself from 2019 to 2020. 20 seconds left. Two timeouts for the Dallas Cowboys. Down 20 to 7. Handed it off to Ezekiel Elliott. And Zeke gained him 9. They're going to use another, another timeout here. They have time for a round of like three plays maybe. Second and one. Dak to throw. Over the middle of the field. Completion to Donald Parham. And Parham gets across midfield down to the 45. They're not going to use a timeout. I don't know what's happening. Six seconds left. Attempting a long field goal attempt. Robbie Gold on the kick. Kick is up. And it is just short. Okay, overall, I will say the offense was not as productive as I thought it was going to be with all the turnovers that we faced, but it is what it is. And Micah Parsons unblocked, I want to say, and just sacks Daniel Jones right there. Saquon didn't decide to pick him up. Don't know what the hell just happened. But brings up second and 22. Jones to throw. Sterling Shepard. Oh, it's going to be a pick. Third and 22, just like that. As soon as we get out of halftime... We just fall apart, huh? Jones, Shepard, Tony gets a block, and we get back to the 24, fourth and 11. We're at the punt. First down and 10 for the 35 for this Dallas offense. They need to get something going in the second half to have any chance at this game as they're down 20 to 7. Dak throwing. Oh, completes it. Donald Parham. Donald Parham. And he gets across midfield, I want to say. Yep, he did. Dak, we're going to throw. He's going to step up. And caught from behind. Is is Ezio Jolari catching him, but... What is that going to do? Second down and five. Blitzing with Devin Bush. Dak, outside, makes a completion. First down and ten. You're blitzing a lot this game because of how much the offense for Dallas is making mistakes. Might need to switch to zone, though, as they haven't made a mistake in a while. That's a completion to Donald Parham, and Parham is forced out of bounds at the 12. Dak has three picks from the first half, as this offense for the Dallas Cowboys is lighting up now. First down and 10 for the 12. Dak to throw. Took away his favorite target in Donald Parham. Dak's going to step up now, and... Tremaine Edmonds jumps over Dak as he slides down. Sets up second and five from the seven-yard line. Prescott to throw. Looking at C.D. Lamb, who is wide open. And the Dallas Cowboys make it a one-score game. First down and ten for the 17. Hand off to Saquon Barkley. Quinn Nelson just got destroyed, and it's a gain of one. Second down and nine for the 18 now. Jones is going to step up and Daniel Jones scrambles forward for a first down. Second down and 10. Jones throwing wide open Sterling Shepard. Shepard gets down to the 45. First attempt for the 45. Jones to throw. Tony's wide open. It's going to be a holding call. That's good areas. Tony makes a catch. I'm going to try to. Andrew Thomas with the hold. The best left tackle, best offensive lineman in the NFL this season, as graded by Pro Football Focus. First and 20 for the 35 now, as that hold sets us back 10 yards. We're going to lob that to Sterling Shepard, who has a step. Not really. A.J. Boye on the coverage, it looked like. And that sets up second and 20. Hand off to Saquon. It's a gate of five, don't get me wrong, but wasn't anything special. Nine rushes for 40 yards for Saquon, so productive day so far. I'm going to lob that to Dawson Knox, who comes back for the football as Jones was getting sacked by Micah Parsons. And that sets up a fourth down and seven. 
Prescott throwing out in the flat to Zeke, who makes an incredible catch. Zeke muscles off three defenders. And Zeke's down to the 26. <clears throat> he muscled off two defenders, bro. Three tackles, really, if you want to get technical with me there. First down and 10 for the 26. Dak is going to throw the football quick out to the CD Lamb wide open. Sets up first down and 10 from the 46 now. Dak to throw. Quick throw. Completion to Michael Gallup. Second and four for the 48. It's going to be a handoff to Ezekiel Elliott. And Zeke has a first down. First down and 10 for the 42 now. It's going to be another handoff to Zeke as he gets stuffed by Tremaine Edmonds and Dexter Lawrence. A gain of one. Prescott to throw. Quick throw to Zeke. The Dory Jackson can't wrap up. Neither can Julian Love. Dexter Lawrence, the big man, finally forces him out. End of the third quarter. Sets up a first and 10 from the 30. Zeke with the run. Tremaine Edmonds can't wrap up. David McKinney can't wrap up. Julian Love can't wrap up. Adore Jackson couldn't either. Tremaine Edmonds on the second effort. Breaks it down at the three yard line. Zeke is turning into prime Barry Sanders. I don't know what's happening. Second and goal now. Zeke trying to fight his way in, but Leonard Williams was there to wrap up. Zeke is averaging 8.1 yards per carry this game. Second and goal from the three now. It's going to be another handoff to Zeke. Zeke breaks the tackle from Kayvon Thibodeau, but gets a gain of one. It's a loss of one. Loss of one. Third and goal from the four is a big th third down. I can't speak English. I'm having a stroke. Dak. End zone shot. Completes it to Donald Parham. Second down and six from the 26. Throwing that to... Did my rep bumper not work or something? What the hell was that? Loss of nine after a sack. <clears throat> Third down and 16 now. Throw that to Wandale Robinson, who has a first down. Saving this offense. His first reception here of the day. Jermaine Curse with the tackle. Sets up first down and 10 for the 34. Hand off to Barkley. And Saquon breaks three for a first down. All the way down to about midfield. First down and 10 for the 49. Jones, quick throw to Saquon now. Saquon can't break the tackle. But it's a gain of two. Second down and eight from the 49. Jones. Out route to DJ Chark. Should have been intercepted. But it is not. It is swatted away. Third down and eight from the 49. Let's get at least a field goal here, boys. Come on. Dawson Knox is wide open. Knox makes the catch on the sideline. Can't turn up field, but we're just down to their 30. Dallas is going to challenge that he was out of bounds. He was not. And they lose a big timeout. It is a close game late here in the fourth quarter. It is tough to lose a challenge like that. So you're going to hand it off to Saquon. Outrunning Micah Parsons and down for a gate of six. Continues to have a great game on the ground. Second down and four. We're going to throw it to him now as Micah Parsons did not pick him up. And Saquon has a first down. It's going to count as a rush for him. First down and 10 for the 19. Should we use as much clock as possible so that we can score a touchdown here and hope for a two-point? Saquon up the middle. And Saquon Barkley all the way down to the four-yard line. 14 rushes, 86 yards for him. I just had a stroke saying him. First down and goal from the four-yard line now. Hand off to Barkley. Micah Parsons shed whoever was on him immediately. And it's a loss of two on the play. Second down and goal from the six yard line. Taking off with Daniel Jones. We got our two yards back. Sterling Shepard is wide open. Fitting that ball into Sterling Shepard and we have a touchdown. Okay, it's time to go for two. I trust Saquon here. Two point attempt, 21 to 26. Hand off to Saquon. Saquon doesn't get it. Dallas makes an insane goal line stop. 
It is a five-point game. That is devastating, man. First down and 10 for the 41. Prescott to throw. Dak is going to be sacked. That is an insane sack for Kayvon Thibodeau. He has one and a half today. Big time sack by the big time second year player in Kayvon Thibodeau. Second down and 10 for the 32. Prescott. Wide open Michael Gallup. Gain of six. Tyrone Smith goes down. We're a sense of pressure now. Loss of a big lineman like that. Sending a blitz. Third down and 12 for the 39. Clock is stopped at 2 minutes and 42 seconds after that Tyrone Smith injury. And Prescott looks to throw. Dak sheds off a sack and then is finally taken down by Aaron Robinson. I don't think that is correct, but fourth down and 20. With Tyrone Smith that we're dialing up another blitz. They don't need to call a play before the two minute, but they will. And Dak. Looking at the sideline, CD Lamb is going to have a fucking touchdown, dude. Are you kidding me? Is this a joke? Is this a joke, man? This game is so bad. Dallas is going to try to go for two to make it a three-point game. Jeez, man. Dak to throw, end zone, and it is a three-point game here in MetLife. All right, ladies and gentlemen, two-minute drill for Daniel Jones and his New York Giants offense. Leads the league in comeback victories this year in real life. Will he do it here? Saquon, first down. Nice play by him as a receiver. Sets up a first and 10 for the 34. Field goal ties it, touchdown wins it. What will we do? Throwing to Sterling Shepard. Can't make the catch. Trying to hit him with a quick throw there and trying something. Second and 10 now for this New York Giants team. Nothing is opening up to throw that away. So it's a third down and 10. It's a big third down. Big, big, big third down. We don't need a first down here. We just need to make it a manageable fourth down if we don't get a first. So we're gonna do a quick throw to DJ Chark, which sets up a fourth down and two. We call a timeout now. We call a timeout, talk this over. Listen, head coach Ethan James. Make a play, baby. Make a play that'll work for this team. Fourth down and two from the 42 yard line. Dallas, I'm assuming he's gonna blitz me here. They do not. We're gonna throw that to DJ Chark, who came up big for us today. And brings us down to the 48 yard line across midfield. Honestly, Kadarius Tony might have been more open on that, but DJ Chark was the easier, easier throw. As it sets up first down and 10 from the 48. Jones. I'm throwing that to Sterling Shepard. Leighton Van Der Esch is insane, man. Give him MVP at this point. Dude's all over the field. All over the place. Making plays today. Sucks. Sucks for this team. Second down and 10 for the 48. Play action. Jones. No one was open. Third down and 10. Just need to make it a manageable field goal here. Don't try to get crazy. Jones. Chark. First down. Who needs a field goal when we're going to go for a touchdown, baby? Come on. First down to 10 for the 30. Jones. Throwing to Dawson Knox. Wide open. Dawson Knox. Touchdown. Four point game here in MetLife Stadium. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. First down and 10 at their own 25. Dallas could win the game here with a touchdown. 34 seconds, two timeouts, plenty of time. Dak running around, throwing out of bounds. 28 seconds, two timeouts, still plenty of time. We've seen Mahomes in 13 seconds. We've seen Rodgers with, what was it, 20 something seconds this year. And Dak's going to lob that to Donald Parham, who had a step, but he missed the throw. Pressure's getting to Dak here. It's at his third down and 10. From the 23. Two timeouts for the Dallas offense. Can they get a first down? Dak, sideline, incomplete. Fourth down and 10. 
Looks like they're lining up for a Hail Mary here. But they're not playing for a first down, which I find strange, as Dak looks to throw. Has options. Oh, no. Incomplete ball. Is that a roughing the passer? Holding call. Game over, baby. The New York Giants squeak it out. And Daniel Jones comes out for a QB kneel. They're going to use both their timeouts here, but it is game over. Four-point victory as this MetLife crowd goes wild, as they should. We put up 20 points in the first half. And then uh, had a little bit of a stalemate there as they had 14 unanswered points. They put up a fight, man. They put up a fight. Daniel Jones, apart from that first pick, first play, looks pretty good. Pretty at Oh, Jesus. Pretty accurate there. Dak, I don't know what happened to him with the, all those interceptions. Saquon looked amazing, both on the ground and receiving. And we sneak out with the victory. Let's check some stats here. As Daniel Jones and Dak Prescott put up similar passer ratings. Uh, I passed 40 freaking times, man. 316 yards for my team. Three touchdowns and one interception for Jones. Dak had 324 yards, four touchdowns, and three interceptions. Rushing similar numbers from both the running backs. 15 attempts, 84 yards, no touchdowns. 11 attempts, 80 yards, no touchdowns. Dak had 19 yards on three attempts. Jones had nine on six. Receiving DJ Chark had a 101. CeeDee Lamb had 173. Oh, my God, and three touchdowns. Dawson Knox with 109 and 2. Donald Parham with 106 and 1. And defensively, Dar Demarcus Lawrence had two sacks on me. Kayvon Thibodeau had two sacks on Dak Prescott. Dexter Lawrence had one and a half. Antoine Dockery, the rookie, had a sack on me. Micah Parsons had a sack on me. Half a sack for all these players right here. And interception-wise, Adore Jackson had one. Leighton Van Der Esch had one. Devin Bush with a 103-yard pick six. And Darnay Holmes also had an interception. Xavier so McKinney gets an upgrade token after that game that he played. He gets plus one awareness, plus one man coverage, plus one play rec, plus one tackle, and plus two zone coverage. And that was a big win here for this New York Giants team. Game plan, elite quarterback. Preparing for an offense led by Dak Prescott probably results in a lot of sleep this night, so getting this win must feel nice. Definitely. He's a great player, and anytime you're able to step up to that challenge, it's going to be a nice boost to the team's confidence. All right. So, in the next week here, as we play the Washington Commanders, we have a breakout wide receiver, Dev Trait. We have a breakout wide receiver challenge, I mean. Uh, we got Cold Opponent, as Washington is 1-4. And... Four, and yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. It feels good to be back, everybody. It feels good to be back in this New York Giants franchise. I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, the next episode will not be coming out tomorrow, as that is Thanksgiving. So I will let the New York Giants in real life play it out. And uh, the next episode will be recorded on Thanksgiving night. And it will be against the Washington Commanders. So I'll see you all Black Friday. Goodbye. So 10...